Oh, that's rich. Mmm, smells like money. Darcy. Hello, friends. Today we are back with another trying the darkest shade of a Korean foundation. Now, I don't get to do these videos often because usually Koreans don't make makeup that's dark enough for me. Usually Korean makeup makes me look like this. So, yeah. In the last video, I reviewed a BB cushion from Laneige and that was in the number 37. So, I figured that I'm about a shade 37 by Korean standards. So, I picked up this. This is the Perfecting Cushion from Salwasu and they actually sell this in my country. So, I did buy this online, but um, they sell this cushion in Nordstrom. I was walking around the Eaton Center and I found it there. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, they have discontinued the darker shades, so this is like the last batch that I've managed to get. So unfortunately, if you did want to pick this up, it don't exist. And every time I do these kinds of videos, people always comment, well, <laughs> it's a Korean brand, why would they make stuff for you? Well, they're selling it down the street from where I live in Canada, so who do, who do they think lives here? Okay, so we're gonna try this. It comes, it's a standard Korean cushion. I say this like I've tried so many and I know things. So it comes with a refill and then the main cushion. This is an expensive brand, okay? This is high class. This is up in Nordstrom's, honey. Look at the shine. The gold accents. Wow. <laughs> I'm getting tan. I hope I'm not too tan for this. Oh no. Anyways, it's got like this pretty little packaging. So fancy. Oh my god. I'm a, I'm a high class bitch. This color is called Amber Beige. Like it's number 37, but it's called Amber Beige. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Ew. Ew. Look how fancy that. Oh my. The gold accents are killing me. Look at this cushion. Look at. Like it's like she thick. Okay. Oh. oh, it's like a beautiful little air pocket. I like it. I like it a lot. This is gorgeous. I don't even want to use this. It's too pretty. Oh my. I feel so rich right now. It's got like this fancy little cover here just to um, keep the product preserved. And it's got all this little writing on it here, but um, I can't read. So, so I'm just gonna pull. Yikes. Yo, this is the problem with long acrylic nails. Like, I can't function in life. Yesterday, I dropped a tea pin on my floor, and it's just gonna stay there forever now because I can't, I can't pick it up with these nails. Like, it, it's literally impossible. It's just gonna stay on my floor forever. Sorry. Let's hope I don't step on it. Um, so I've discovered that I don't actually need to peel this off. I just open the cover. And then there's another thing. Look at all the, all the gold. I love it. Uh, but I do need to peel this one off, so here we go again with the struggle. Ooh, look at this, look at this rich color. Look at this rich, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, that's rich. Oh, mm, smells like money. Okay, so my skin is already prepped and ready. Moisturized, exfoliated, all that jazz. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go, girl. It is a tad light, but when you start blending, it blends in perfectly. And like I said, I am a bit on the tan side. My neck and chest are a lot lighter than my face. This is a good match. Um, as far as the coverage, there is actual coverage. Cover radiance cushion that provides perfect makeup with long lasting light, refined cover, and moisturized finish. That's how it's described. If you know Korean brands, they don't offer much coverage, which is fine by me because my skin is, there's no other way to say this, my skin's good. The whole base of beauty in Korea is skincare. So you take care of your skin first and then you put your makeup on. And like, look at that. Oh, this is what I love about Korean cushions. Look at that highlight. I have not put a single highlighter on my face. They're so moisturizing and they make your skin look like glass. <laughs> oh my God. Who is she? Guys, do you think we could start a campaign for them to bring these shades back, please. So now that it's on, I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on and really give you guys a full review and tell you what I think. Okay, so I am living, oh my God. I can't believe this is discontinued. Um, I, I hate my life. 
Literally, I'm gonna start a petition to bring this color back, please. Okay, <laughs> enough of me goofing around. Let's talk about this foundation. So, um, the finish of it is very moisturizing and it's very luminizing as a lot of Korean products are. A lot of Korean products really like to focus on the moisture and the shine. They want to make you look dewy and glowy. If you are a lighter color, definitely go buy this foundation. If the lighter colors are anything like this, which they probably are, I pick this up, okay? If you live in the US and Canada, you can buy this at Nordstrom's or they also have it on yesstyle.com which is where I purchased mine. So I believe the foundation is around 80 to 90 dollars depending on where you live. I believe on Yesstyle is about 90 dollars or so Canadian but I, when I bought this I was a bronze member so I got like a little bit percent off and then um, I paid express shipping with the price of the products plus the express shipping I paid over a hundred dollars for this product um, but usually it is around like I think like 85 or so dollars wait can I go on Nordstrom's website does that work do they have a website no oh, what hold up okay so I just looked on the website and at least um, for the Canadian website the price is around 80 to 100 dollars depending on which cushion that you pick up. So that's super expensive. For reference, in Canada, um, my favorite foundation is the NARS foundation. I love the NARS All Day Luminous, and that is $60. I consider $60 to be pretty expensive for a foundation, so the fact that this one is 80 plus, depending on which one you get, uh, yeah, it's a lot. But it lives up to its name. Like, look, I'm, I'm not wearing any highlighter. And that's what my cheek looks like. What else did I want to say about this product? I also want to do a flash test real quick because um, Korean foundations do tend to have SPF in them. Um, so if you are concerned about... Because this would have been so perfect if you just want some SPF and... Oh. This would have been so perfect if you just want some SPF and you don't want to be gray. Okay, let me do a flash test. Hold on. So as you can see from the photos I took, it does definitely give you some flashback, so just be wary of that. Um, maybe don't wear it when you're going out to the club. But I never go to the club, so it's not a problem for me. I have no friends. Let me tell you guys, taking flash chest photos is really hard because I can't see myself while I'm doing it because A, I'm in the dark, and B, I'm using the back facing camera. I look so creepy in this one. One more thing I wanted to say about this foundation is that the shade is actually yellow toned. Like normally Korean foundations are more on the pink side. Ain't nobody pink up in here. And there are a lot of dark skinned Asians as well. So if you're like Filipino, I know a lot of my Filipino friends, especially in the summer, they can get as dark as me. I'm actually really sad that this is discontinued. I hate, I hate myself right now. I hate myself for trying this. I hate myself for trying a discontinued item. Why did I do this to myself? At least I have the refill. Wow. If you guys want me to try any more um, Korean foundations, definitely let me know in the comments below. Tell me if you can find a 37 in anything else or anything even close to a 37 that I could like finesse you. <laughs> Just let me know in the comments what else you want me to review. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. I love you so, 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 so much.